surprising start for the first what? game. Heck, I've lost his beard. Holy. <clears throat> I I didn't even notice that. I, I He looked I, like a 12-year-old. I knew something was wrong about this picture when I saw it first, but now you're telling me he lost his beard. That's a huge difference. Definitely. Yeah. I'm missing how, how it. I'm missing it already. Now? Oh, we get Animal Companion. Unleash and Huntmaster. It looks like a quite okay hand somewhere. It's okay, but he's missing a one or two drop. Absolutely. And like he definitely Austin would like to get a web spinner. A uh, web spinner is what you web always spinner, want to have. Web spinner or haunted creeper. I mean, haunted creeper into coin hound master puts so much pressure on your opponent. I will look at that for Oscar Ka. Not that great either. I mean, he can start turn three with a animal companion, but if Akub already starts with coin animal companion, will have an advantage over that. Oh, buzzard. Buzzard start out like that one. Just, just like if he coins out a huffer now, uh, buzzard kills huffer. For example, well, this, this is already super funny in the early game. I like it. So he drops the web spinner. But what there for Oscar? Uh. Did did he really like he he's at three mana now, so he could choose to drop an animal. Wow, and get that one. Oh so, man, that's gonna be super man. annoying. Could be worse though. Oh, for me, it yells uh, Unleash with Hunter's Mark, I have to say. Yeah. It might be, I don't know, it's not the best thing to do. It's totally fine. I mean, he holds two Unleashes already. Yeah, and you you really don't want your opponent to just to pop two minions, or no. even if it's only one beast next turn, it's Should, super annoying. Should uh, sacrifice is yeah, exactly what Absolutely. And next turn, you can hunt master up. So, uh, ooh, oh, you could even coin. You could coin the Angry Chicken. I would, to, I would go coin Angry Chicken. Thing. I, I would like that move too. I just just get the angry chicken value, but you can also do that next turn. But yeah, but then you can't attack immediately. Exactly. And you can hunt master buff it up, and then enrage the angry chicken. Oh, that would have been so great. It's like oh, was it plus five again? The yeah. enrage. Wow, it would be, would eight, be eight two eight three. Yeah, I mean, I, I yeah, imagine or like like if he attacks in the one one yeah, exactly. Oh, eight two. Wow, that that would be in pain, a lot of pain. So we get the Anti Creeper here and a Web Spinner. That, that almost yells for another Unleash, like just right off the spot. Eagle Horn Bow to top deck for Echo. I could pop that one or just Huntmaster up his small Doggy. Trade with a Web Spinner, hope for the enemy not having a Huntmaster. And imagine him having the Angry Chicken out. He could Would've have been enraged it. So much better. Uh, the only annoying part is we know Oscar Ka is holding a Hunter's Mark and a Kill Command, so he could have yeah, dealt with it. He would have forced it by doing so. And that's correct. You at least get it rid of it, easy mode, and well, force out a Hunter's Mark in the end, so that's pretty cool. He wants to kill both beasts, and that's why he's not going playing Huntmaster uh, buff up. Like, if you Huntmaster buff up and then your enemy is actually playing your, his own Huntmaster, he's going to get a 3 4 minion. Yep, of course. So th that was the only thing why he didn't just play in Insta go for the Huntmaster. A little misplay by Akop not going for the Angry Chicken without the Huntmaster. But uh, I, I realize uh, why he did it. He's probably just want to use it as additional card draw as soon as he gets a buzzard. Absolutely. And the Web Spinner gave him Iron Fur Grizzly, which I like a lot, I have to say. Like the Iron Fur Grizzly, 3-3 three, three Taunter, always annoying. Strong in the matchup, but you see the counter with the Eagle Hornbow already on the hand of Akop. Totally true. And this is not looking so good for Oscar. I mean, he, with what he has on the board, he cannot kill anything. So he either he needs to unleash himself or use Hunter's more Kill Command to do anything there. Mm. I mean, first of all, he could draw a card with a flare. Just see if you get something. But you don't want to lose your flare in case the enemy is dropping some yeah. freezing traps or explosives. Not in the Hunter Mirror. Okay, there we see the first Hunter's Mark. Going off and an unleash, as I said. Pro probably just uh, get the unleash rolling, clear the board. In the end, the best outcome. What else did you want to do, honestly? It wasn't a lot. Yeah, and that hurts. You're losing your unleash, and that, that was like the only option to draw some cards. Uh, well, your enemy doesn't have any minions. Uh, and he didn't even get a buzzer by now, so that's uh, getting more and more unlucky for Asuka. I want to see the Unleash into Leoc, always the best thing to have. Very nice. He wants to draw into his buzzard, though. Yeah, even if he only could draw one card with the Iron Fur Grizzly, it would still be uh, really good. Just 
when card is already card and he needs his Savannah high mains, for example. Secret Keeper is okay to some extent. I mean, he could pop four minions on the board now. And we already saw... Do we already see a buzzard from Ekop? Uh, no. We haven't no, seen one yet. that was the first buzzard from Oscar Kao, correct? It wasn't and, only an Unleash. Uh, he kicked commands right off the spot. Doesn't want to get that one. Huntmaster, like, four, six minion is super annoying. Okay, Ekop, what you got there? Bow. Yelled for Eagle Horn Bow. Oh, steady shot. It's kind of. Um, Wait, he can go for the Unleash Bow. To completely clear the board. Oh, wow. I'm not. Well, then I wouldn't go for the Bow, I guess. No, I would, oh, he I wants would. to keep him. He wants to keep a beast. That makes sense. I would definitely go for the bow. I mean, the Hunter's Mark, you you keep a beast on the board. Yep. And with the Hunter's Mark, you could kill a Savannah Jaime next turn, for example. But And playing I the Angry Chicken now, that that's... Dislike the Angry Chicken. That makes no sense for me, I have to say. I if mean, the Unleash is... Like, one Unleash was played already. Yeah. But... Okay. If you draw a buzzer now, you just wasted a drawn card, and exactly, yeah, it's no way to get card draw now. now. There's a low tap, so now your hunter's mark holds a big value, and that's why you should have kept it. Like now, you can hunter's mark four or five. There it is. Like I don't want to say it, but there we get the starving buzzard, and you just totally fake played that one. Could have drawn one card more, and now you're kind of screwed, in my opinion. That's Since. fine. Actually, it's not too bad. I mean, he will use his weapon, kill the Secret Keeper. Uh, he should attack first and then go yep. for Secret Exactly. Are you calling him Secret Keeper already? Oh, nice. well, why? <laughs> of course, the mad scientist. Yeah, I brain like, damage you have such yesterday. bad influence on me. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna, God if, damn it. If I cast with someone else together, Screw I'm going to start that with a Blade Fury. The so-called Blade Fury. No. Did, did I Atosis you? Did I Atosis curse you You're with some words? really bad. <laughs> That's like you're just really bad. Okay, thank you. And what we get there? For, oh wow! I hope I hope that's a freezing trap, and he's actually putting down the second one. That would be so devastating for Oskika. Yes, too. Well, you, you, you could just be like, whatever, angry chicken. Don't care. My flares. That makes sense. Yeah, he needs to flare now, and that's in that situation with this hand. If you don't flare or misplay, and that's annoying, like your flare gets countered by a freezing trap, uh, by by a snake trap. Oh wow, double traps. Animal companion, get at least a card. Oh, and even Leoc. That that. <laughs> oh that, my god. <laughs> that's your flare. Ow. That that's so mean. Oh. Okay, the snakes. Uh, if there's an unleashed draw, that would be so good. Uh, he's going to unleash, attack the buzzard with one. Yeah, and then Akov get three cards. That uh, would be so helpful. Uh, at the moment, we didn't see what Askaka got there for his last card, and it is going to be a Huntmaster. Well, yeah. Okay. Not cool. What do you want to do? I, in, in theory, you can only play your Huntmaster, Explosive Trap, Steady Shot. Yeah. Something like that. What you have to do. And hope for the explosive trap to demolish the board. I mean, you could also play the snake traps and just hope for him to attack there and give you some snakes. No. Now, Oscar is taking his time there. His hand is really not optimum. He's definitely going to play a trap, but the second flare is just so good for Makov. I mean, he got 5, 7, he got 12. Wow, he get 14 damage if he wants to, and he can draw more cards with even a Savannah high main. So he can draw one card, he can do two cards if he wants, or just steady shot for the damage. And this is game for Oscar. Yeah, I know. Like, if he had something like a Brawl, and even that wouldn't be so optimum in this uh, situation. And the bow for Akob, if you lose once the control as a hunter, you're most likely not coming back. I mean, Unleash and Hunter's Mark can achieve a lot, but against the Savannah high main and the Leoc, Snake yeah. trap. And snake trap, especially. You're not going to gain ground again. It makes no difference. The funny part about this is that both players are actually playing the version with snake traps. So it's not like we get only one. Well, that was a quite cool draw. But it's not going to save him, correct? He just killed no. command there, runs the chicken in, and then there's 12 damage already on the yep. board. 
Wow, okay. Ekrop can waste some time, draw some cards, and there's still enough damage. He has a 5, 7, 12 with the kill command. He could go for the Eagle Horn bow. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. He wins the first round here against Oscar Kao of this best of three. So we already have a 1 0 for Ekrop. Will we see, like yesterday, only two O's again today? No. I, I wouldn't expect that. I, like, I mean, Cloud9 is super strong, but I don't see them going 8-0. It was super surprising yesterday already. I mean, Irines just totally stomped Isuba for yeah, example. Isuba, the rank 1 team. Yeah, and that was really surprising. I mean, there were a lot of 2-0s, but like for, for the lesser favored team. Oh, now we get Ekop with his Hunter again, facing some Miraculi, probably. You think so? Could be the backspace Who version as well. Backspace yesterday? I mean, there was we, one. we saw, I think, two backspace rogues yesterday, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, he just played it twice after, like he won once and could play it again. So that was that was one of the only two one matches actually where we saw the backspace rogue twice. That was really interesting. Maybe we're gonna see it again. I mean, it's still working, and if you get all the minions really fast against Hunter. No, that's going to be a oh, coin, Sinister Strike, and Van Cleave. That's going to be 6-6 six, six, Van Cleave, turn 4 if he wants to. I know, turn 3 even. Against the Hunter's Mark, Freezing Traps, it's rather yeah. risky to go it, for it, that play. Absolutely, rather risky. That would be so awesome, imagine that. He could go for Coin Prep, Evis, Van Cleave. Or Coin Prep, Shift, Van Cleave. Wow, that, that would be just 8-8 eight, eight Van Cleave out of nowhere. But then Freezing Trap, Tears, everything. So. Sadly, you cannot do that play. We could make a 4 4 Van Cleave, I think. That would be okay. Yeah, but with Daddy Poison, it's completely understandable that he went for just weaponing up. Oh, it's painful. That's painful. But I guess we're still going to see a coin Deadly Poison Van Cleave. Think so? Oh, well. Uh, well. I now with an SI7 agent avoiding the other four damage. I think it's coin deadly poison. SI. SI. Yeah, after you drew the SI, I guess so too. I mean, turn four, you can still play Sinister Strike, Van Cleef, make a 4-4 yeah. Van Cleef. So you didn't lose anything by this. You could even go still Sinister Strike, Prep, Shift, Van Cleef. So, and you got a 3-3 three, three out, so you could trigger the Freezing Trap if he's not bowing it down. Yeah. So if he bows it down, like there won't be a Freezing Trap. Everything is speaking for an SI7 agent, it seems. You don't even have to deadly poison. You should just uh, you could just coin Sinister Strike, Van Cleef, in the end. Uh, Van Cleef, SI7 agent, I mean. And you could deadly poison now, but I think Sinister playing the Sinister Strike feels... Well, he didn't even play anything. Uh, playing the Sinister Strike feels a bit better for me, I have to say. If you played one of those mm. cards, uh, since... Yeah, he could play a web spinner, and then you don't want to have three attack on your weapon. I think now he should opt for you mean Sinister now? Strike and Cleave. I would do something in direction of Van Cleave, definitely. If it's Sinister Strike or Deadly Poison, for me, it wouldn't matter. I think the good thing with Sinister Strike is that it's nice additional burst. And there's the Freezing Trap. Oh, man. Sometimes you wish you had one Stone Tusk Boa in your rogue deck just to avoid those freezing traps. I know a handlock player that was uh, really high ranked, uh, like the top 102, who actually played two Stone Tusk Boa instead of two mortal cards in his handlock. And he totally demolished Hunter with that because he was just triggering those freezing traps with those yeah. Stone Tusk Boas. That was pretty funny. After he told me, I was like, awesome. <laughs> I just liked it. Well. You can't. You could go super risky and attack with your Leroy just to deal four damage with your. It's not your that risky lead. if you attack the face with your weapon first. That's correct. If you attack the face first with a weapon, you know it's no explosive, and then you could actually trigger it with your Leroy if you want to. Yeah. Okay. Well, he can still go for prep, shift, and play Van Cleave again. Oh, I guess I guess we're gonna see that. And it's a perfect turn five to some extent. What else do you want to do with your hand? And he gets a backstab. No, he needs to. He needs to oh. backstab too. <laughs> That's so great. That. Uh, we know there's an explosive trap, Hunter's Mark or Hunter's Mark kill command, but the backstab was so Should good. Should be just Hunter's Mark explosive. Yeah, I guess. 
Go for steady shot. Bow into the face. Oh man, I love that play <laughs> where you get the backstab. I mean, too. it's sort of risky to do that because if there's an Earthen Ring Farseer, spells trouble for you. If there's an, well, no, his HP is lower to one. He cannot heal up. Oh yeah, exactly. You didn't. Oh, damn, why, damn, why? 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 Damn am vacation! I... Oh my God, it's two weeks. <laughs> it's two weeks. Uh, if you're two weeks out, it feels like if in gaming terms. It's like eternity. You forget like everything about the game. You have Absolutely. to learn. Absolutely. So we get the oh he can still shadow stab us, which I like really a lot. And he can even he can shadow stab, attack. play the Azure Drake, like attack, play the Azure Drake, and then play Van Cleave again for a bigger minion. That's super funny. I mean if there wouldn't be those traps, Oskaka it would look way, way better for him. Oh wow, Oskaka is doing a great job on fighting against this. And Ekob is somehow slowly but steady running out of counters to the place. I mean, you can now unleash, kill command, clear the board, but you're down to 20. One shadow step less, which is great. You so can't clear the board. You can clear them. Ah, uh, yeah, you can he, with the bow, but it's... Um, yeah, he takes four damage, as I said. So that's uh, a bit sad. Leroy, Sinister Strike, Eviscerate. That's already 13 damage. And that's like the problem. You're dropping lower and lower by clearing. And finally, you get the auctioneer too. So either he drops it now with a sinister strike, or he waits a turn and I don't know combos it with a blight flurry. Did I say sinister strike or eviscerate? I hope I said eviscerate. I so hope. Like he can go for a, a sinister strike and hope for a conceal or another sinister strike, but that's looking good now for Askaka. I mean, we're we're going to see Luth up. Yeah, that's a given. Surprise. And then five damage to the face. Five damage to the face. You kind of need to win now in short term. What we get for Echo? So he get 10 damage if he wants to. 11 damage. There is a, there is a ring force here just waiting. Oh, two Earths on ring force here. And do we see one on leash already? So just pop those two. Got to get your weapon rolling and go for the face. I mean, after two as a ring what what does he want to do now? Uh, that that was annoying. If he hadn't, if he didn't have those, it would be so in trouble. Nice. Imagine how much damage that would have been. Uh, eight damage. Uh, that would be like six plus two. Oh man. I think he at least so if there wouldn't be the heal. Since he had the Huntmaster, at least one Hound, and the Steady Shot, which is together 3, 8, 10, 13 damage. No, he wasn't 14, correct? So without any minion plays, that wouldn't have been enough. Can I cop clear nope. this? Nope. I mean, he can get rid of the Auctioneer, 100%. He can get rid of one Urzan Ring Farsia, and of the other Urzan Ring Farsia, too, if he wants. With a bow. But he's dead, correct? That's just uh, yeah, gonna be uh, he's dead. There's no way he's alive. We have Leroy, Eviscerate, and one Earthen Ring Farsia. Either attack or he takes the three damage now. So that should be the GG. For Oskaka with Leroy, Eviscerate, carrying away this win in the end. A miracle. He's victorious. Uh, the Miracle is victorious. In the end, it works out for him. And I think he worked around greatly what Echo played, especially the turn uh, where we had the Hunter's Marked Van Cleave. And that Van Cleave got Shadow Step, went back with the Zudrake together for 4-4 four, four and 6-6 six, six minion. That was just a great one. I loved it. Such a nice turn. And now we get a tie between those players. 1-1. One, one. So it's not a 2-0 stomp all the way. We're going to see again Miracle, which has a really nice win rate against everything. And what we got there for Akob? Voria, Shaman, Priest Paladin? I like Shaman. I like Shaman too. Let's see. No, Paladin. Paladin. Paladin has a nice comeback, I have to say. More and more people starting to play it. I saw it recently against Handlock. That was pretty interesting to watch. Like... Oh yeah, eight eight minion. No one nope, eight it's minion. It's a one eight minion. And then the RMB Gal comes and make it makes it back to an eight eight minion. So there there are a lot of interesting plays, especially oh. with the Shade of Nexramas. I saw it in the VGVN. I think Civis was playing it too, and some other people. 
it was really great to see the Shade of Nekatoramas in a Paladin deck and actually performing really well. Yep. It's interesting, to say the least. The only problem is, okay, you put it turn three down. It gets buffed, it gets buffed, your enemy swarms the board like you play against Taunt Druid, and then you kind of have to equality and wipe Pyromancer, for example, because you know don't have other options and you kill your Shade. I mean, if you have only equality and your Shade is invisible, who cares? It's going to be uh, 2 HP again next exactly. turn. So that Shade in Paladin is a pretty interesting choice. Especially double shade. I mean, he puts them down. We know Miracle is not having the easiest time dealing with that. Okay, if he has a Blade Flurry early on, easy mode. Or, as we know, there's Blood Mace Thalnus. So he could go Thalnus, prep, fan if he really wants to. But I guess we're not going to see that. Okay, double shade of next dramas. If he gets a Blade Flurry, that, that would get totally wrecked. Um. Oh, he's doing it. No hesitations. I think it's okay. But if it feels like, okay, you just wasted a prep. Especially if you see the second shade of Nexoramas. I think that it was kind of overextended. I, think I, he, I don't know why he's so scared of the shades. Well, they, they will get out of hand. I mean, as soon as they're 4-4, you kind of have trouble unless you get your Blade Flurry. So I, I can understand why he did it. We get the shift. I might have might have gone for the eviscerate as uh, the sinister strike and as I step agent just to get more board control rolling. That shade already three three for a cup. Oh, Harrison, Harrison Jones value. Two. I mean, you're not killing away anything, but under those circumstances, it's a really nice turn five play. And you're well, you're you're getting two cards, so who cares? And trading the shades uh, was really nice. Or trading in there with the shade. Absolutely. Because it also makes him backspace, uh, backstep proof. So we, but we're still gonna see, I guess, backstep as I. <sighs> backstep as I, I guess. You really want to get backstep rid of as that? Backstep as I, wet map, most likely. Okay, well, if you want to draw the card next turn with your auctioneer for example you could go for sinister strike si for for example just to you not still have a coin yeah, yeah but like if you really wanted to draw then the you couldn't wet map step, and you can yeah. also go with deadly poison so that way it's like so much stronger he kills the harrison keeps the shade alive and therefore we got the white pyromancer and holy light which is always super funny if you go white pyromancer acolyte of pain and then you holy light something I love that play, turn seven. It's like you, you damage people and you draw a card. Oh, this three damage consec. Always so pain. Killing away the minion, and that's why I would have killed the shade. I, I would have killed the shade instead of Harrison. He has one damage more, but he would have been on two HP, and the shade went up to three HP. I mean, yeah, that's like two damage more, uh, one damage more, but you're not mm. gonna get rushed from the Paladin in the end. Or I, I, at least I don't expect to die from Paladin rush in any way. We get the Deadly Poison into Deadly Poison, and he can draw even more cards if he really wants to. Uh, he's, he has another auction here, so no need to use the coin right now. Absolutely. Doesn't need to rush it. Now you can sacrifice his white pyromancers and do again the white pyromancer acolyte of pain holy light yourself play. Yep. If you want to do it now, um like why why shouldn't he? He gets a three one on the board and a one two, draws a card and heals himself up while clearing the auctioneer. With his hand cards, that seems to be an okay play. Like the only problem I see is just I wouldn't I I wouldn't go quality now, because well, he can do the same thing, but he will lose his Acolyte. But you're talking about concealed stuff, like not wasting... Exactly. Like, why would you waste the equality if you have... Oh, well, he would need to use his second wild Pyromancer, and he kind of yeah. wants to... That's a problem there. If you use a second wild Pyromancer, you're kind of out of wild Pyromancers, and then your equality is anyways not so useful anymore. But this is also possible. You heal your wild Pyromancer instead of yourself. Card, and then you trade afterwards. Absolutely. It's fine. The only thing that's not so good about it, you missed some heal on yourself, 
But that was just great. So you didn't have to play the second one, and you cleared the board pretty easily. Pollen has more than enough yields, so he should be fine. Absolutely. Looking good for Echo. Is your Drake into one card? I guess kill... Hmm. Kill the card draw? Double Sinister version. Oh, imagine next turn. So he kills the card draw, weapons up, and then we're going to see Auctioneer, Sinister Strike, Sinister Strike, Deadly Poison, three cards drawn, and maybe a preparation for perhaps Sap. So you could draw five cards in total next turn with just eight mana. That would be hilarious to see. I think the other Peacekeeper is crucial. Why would you take four damage? You could also oh. go for Guardian of the Kings. Absolutely. I don't necessarily like the equality. Well, he still has White Pyromancer Consecrate with it, which is a lot of damage. Okay, there's a Sludge Belcher play, I guess. Or the no, Sylvanas. I, I would prefer the Sylvanas. I mean, even though he might be able to kill it with an Eviscerate and stuff, it's still fine because, first of all, it takes the Rogue a lot to get rid of it. Yeah. The backstab, take five damage and go for it. And you can play your Sludge Belcher at a later stage when you are actually in range of lethal. So, first of all, we see Auctioneer Coin. Got the backstab also, so that's super great. Can draw another card. And the preparation we're talking about. So he's four mana left. Can preparation sap that thing? The only problem with sapping now is if there is a Tyrion Fordering, that's it with uh, yeah, sapping stuff. And look at this. There is going to be Giant Sinister Van Strike Van Cleave. And you just a second ago used your equality. Everybody is a peacekeeper. I mean, it's still super annoying, don't <laughs> yeah. get me wrong, but he has a peacekeeper. Okay, I never said anything. Easy mode for Ak up here, top digs of doom, just gonna be equality, consecrate, doesn't even need to go for the Wild Pyromancer if he doesn't want to. I think Wild Pyromancer is completely fine. He has 9 mana, so he could go for the Wild Pyromancer. Equality, Belcher. And Belcher, that, that's like the advantage there. Yep. Okay, we get the equality. Destroy the board and follows up with a Belcher. I like that one. And Belcher is not easy to. And yeah. Oscar Osk got Oscar right gone. now. Like, what can he do? His Selness is. Oh, there's another Zudrake. Oh, that's great. <laughs> I wanted to say there's no spell damage left for him, but he runs two Zudrakes, so there is spell damage left for him. That helps a lot. But his whole card draw is gone, correct? We got two Auctioneers, our yep. dad. Okay, a Zudrake and. Conceal. I think I would eviscerate and conceal my minion there, I have to say. Eviscerate, conceal it, do one damage to the slime, and then do another damage to the slime, and hope you win next turn with Leroy, Shadow Step Leroy. Okay. Eviscerate. No, he concealed those two. And next turn, you can still go for your Leroy, eviscerate play, for example. Well, this can still get interesting. I mean, he has a lot of damage in his hand. There's Sinister Strike, Deadly Poison again. There is quite a lot to go on. How much damage is that? He cannot win in this now since he's really not having enough mana to spam everything. But if he gets another turn, I guess it's possible. Sinister Strike. Now, you would need to weapon up Deadly Poison strike. first. I mean, Eviscerate. You get Deadly Poison, Eviscerate away the Sludge Belcher. Yep. Then you got the SI7 Agent to kill the Slime. I know he, he's going to Eviscerate away. Are you sure? He's going to Eviscerate away the Guardian of Kings? I guess I would have left it alive, I have to say. I mean, why? Uh, you could uh, you could have dealt four da uh, five damage more to the face. I mean, he could be down instead of twenty two, it could be seventeen now. Both equalities are gone. Yeah, both equalities are gone, but there's like there, there's double other peacekeeper obviously <laughs> on the board, and that helps a lot. I mean, he can double peacekeeper, consecrate, and trade, for example, and then there's only two damage left on the board. But it's eighteen damage that Oscar is holding right now. I get Lira shells the Oh Leroy. my god. I guess he's gonna peacekeeper there. Should he should absolutely. He should use both. I mean, I don't see any down part of using both peacekeepers now. 
gonna heal himself up. He could Lira shuts up Leroy, plus four damage Sinister Strike at the moment. So that's only 16, 17 damage if the spell damage minion dies. He doesn't want to play his second Peacekeeper, but do it. Do it, Akop! No! Good to attack the face. Crazy. <laughs> you would attack the face with a weapon. <laughs> it's like, yes! I might have actually considered it, yes. Okay, we got uh, three damage from the blade. We got 15. It's since the strike is dealing four or three damage. I always keep forgetting that. Three I damage, correct? Three damage. So it's only 3, 6, 7, 19, 22. Is it, is it only 22 damage? Yes. Is it only 22 yeah, damage? Yeah, he's one damage short. He has 18 wow. on his hand and a 4 on the board. Well, that's uh, well, not 18 on his hand, like with the weapon. That hurts so much. And we get 12 from Leroy, 3 from Sensor Strike. 3, 15, 18 with the weapon, 3, 1, 22. Oh, he's clearing first, which I like a lot. And then he's slowly working his way towards the win. Bring him down to 20. Next turn, there is a possibility to still not end this, correct? Lay on hands. Like exactly what you want to see now. Just lay on hands and be like, raffle, raffle, GG. That game is over. Engine um, even. Okay. Oscarka is down to two cards, if I'm not mistaken. Or it's like two or three cards. So what is there to win? Would it, would it trade? Yeah, against the Earthen Rings. Oh, oh, wow. You forgot this token. <laughs> but he at least noticed that, too. So Well played. Well met, Ekov. Missing your token out. I mean, that that is quite a long game compared to all those games we had before, especially yesterday, if you remember. Yesterday's so fast games. And he got double Shadow Step. So we got 18 damage plus the weapon, 19. We are at 22. We would be at 23 only. Yep. That sucks so much. Especially if he just goes Senjin, Lothab. He just denies the whole burst. Or with Senjin, Sylvanas, he's still safe. And Lothab destroys everything. He, he's such a meanie. What's missing for Oscarka? I, I don't know. Have we seen the Blade Flurry? Should be in there, correct? Like, we haven't seen it this game, but it's in there somewhere. Okay, so he kind of needs to shift this engine and hope he gets it killed somehow. I see that correct. That's just not looking good for Oscarka. I don't see any way how he finishes this for him. With the cards left in his deck, both eviscerates are gone. Play, like, he played one sap. Yeah. There's another sap. Okay. Play second. <laughs> and gives up. If he had that sap early, even with a sap earlier, he wouldn't be able to wouldn't turn this around. Wouldn't have made the difference, to be honest. So we get a 2-1 for Echo, winning the first best of three in Cloud9 versus VVV Gaming. Yep.